Hi, today I'm going to tell you a story that is not my own, but somebody else's. His name is Harold Stevens. I didn't grow up with Harold. He didn't go to school here, but he shared his story with me and I thought it was powerful and I wanted to share it with you. So Harold was very small for his age, all growing up. Um, and he wore glasses and his family moved around a lot. His dad was in construction, so they were constantly moving. I think he said that one year he was in five different schools in the same school year. But the thing is that all the schools were unfortunately the same and the kids were merciless. I mean, with the kid who's really small and new and a name like Harold, of course he's gonna get picked on. And it was pretty bad and it reached the point where he, it's almost like he started believing all of those things that people said about him. And so he almost stopped talking. He, if somebody asked him a question, he'd not answer at all or respond in just a whisper. Um, it's, the weird thing is, is that it, the positive words can have that same effect where people start believing it, but have an opposite result. And what happened in high school is that he um, actually had a teacher who called him Professor Stevens. Like for the entire year, she referred to him as Professor Stevens. And she was serious. She thought that he was smart and that, and that he had valuable opinions. And um, she referred to him in front of everybody as Professor Stevens. And so it, calling him that helped him believe in himself. And often, like at the end of class, they'd be having a class discussion. Of, of course, Harold wouldn't say a word. But then before class was over, she'd stop the discussion and say, let's ask the professor. And then she would turn to Harold and ask his opinion. And, and he would give it. And just that respect and um, value that she showed to him extended so other people treated him better as well. So Harold says that that simple nickname really profoundly changed his life. Of course, you're probably wanting to know, did Harold grow up to be a professor? No, he did not. A lot of times dreams change and Harold's did. He is very successful, but I'm not gonna tell you what, what he does now because that's not the point. The point is, is that he says that even today, um, if he's facing something tough, um, he'll stop and think, okay, I'm Professor Stevens, I can do this. So if you think about it, even in the world of sports, performance goes up if you know your teammates and those around you believe in you. So if you go up for a shot and miss the ball, it's not very helpful if somebody, the person who passed you the ball says, hey, I'm not gonna pass you the ball if I don't know that you're gonna make the shot. Instead, how about if that person said, hey, you're a good shooter, next time you're gonna sink it. Don't you think that next time that if you went up to the for the shot, you'd actually maybe believe, hey, I can do this. I'm a good shooter, just as your teammate said. So what I wanted to tell you today is I wanted you to think about what people could achieve if they really believed what others said about them. Teachers, your words have an impact that you will never know. Let your students know that you believe in them and inspire them to believe in themselves. Students, your words have an impact on your peers that you will never know. Choose your words wisely. Let your friends, your teammates, your fellow students, the random person you pass in the hall, let them know that you value them, that you believe in them, and hopefully, maybe, those positive words you speak to them will become them. Think about it. What could we all achieve if everyone believed that they were a professor of something important?